Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Dr. Leslie here, and today I am gonna be talking about this really scary vaping lung illness. So, stay tuned if you're interested, hit that like button and subscribe below. All right, as always, this video is brought to you by Evidence-Based Medicine. What is Evidence-Based Medicine? It is medical information based on official recommendations and medical research. As usual, I post all of the links to the research that I utilized in this study below. Let's get into it. As you may have heard, there have been so many stories and articles out right now about this vaping related illness that's causing like thousands of people to get sick and a lot of people to die. So what the heck is this illness? All right. So it's called e-cigarette and vaping associated lung injury. E-volley is what the medical field is calling it now. And it's been going on the majority of this fall. Um, and it's a really scary illness because e-cigarettes and vaping products are so new that nobody really understood what the heck was going on and how to stop these illnesses from happening. So ever since we found out about it kind of earlier this fall, there have been 2,000 290 cases of this illness and tons of people have gotten so sick that they've had to go to the intensive care unit at hospitals and be intubated put on a breathing machine there have been 49 deaths from this illness so it's pretty dang serious what types of symptoms are associated with this illness people can get a lot of different things mostly they get a cough they get chest pain, shortness of breath. People have reported to me that they've felt like all of a sudden they couldn't walk upstairs. They couldn't um, get, you know, across their house without feeling like they were short of breath. People also report nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fevers, and chills. Now, it can take a couple of days for these to come on or weeks at a time. Well, what the heck causes this illness? At first, the medical community was pretty dang stumped. We knew that every single person who had this illness had reported either using e-cigarettes or like vaping THC products, but we really didn't know exactly what was causing it. And finally, we were able to kind of narrow down that the majority of the people who got this were vaping THC products um, and other things like black market um, or tampered with e-cigarettes. We finally have a pretty good answer after months and months of trying to figure this out. So essentially what a team of researchers did, including pulmonologists who are lung experts, is use this tool, which is basically like a camera, and they stick it down people's throats while they're asleep and, and sedated, and they wash out the inside of the lungs with a bunch of water, and then suck all that water back up and study and see what's inside of it. And um, that way, whatever kind of chemical or product is in there that's causing this, um, hopefully they could pick it up in the water once they had sucked it back out. So what they ended up finding was that people who had this illness, the majority of them were people who had used THC products, either legal or illegal. Some of them had only used e-cigarette products. Okay. But what they found in every single one of these samples from inside of their lungs, was vitamin E acetate. So you're probably thinking, how on earth could a vitamin be bad for you? Actually, vitamin E acetate is fine for ingestion, meaning eating it, but it's actually really irritating and dangerous to the lungs. 
and it causes this horrible inflammation. Again, we think this is the main culprit, but everybody who was on that research team said, you know, there could be other things. We just don't know about them yet. Um, but we really do think that vitamin E acetate is what's causing it. So, all right, people get really sick. They feel like crap. After using THC products, after using tampered with or black market e-cigarette products, things that contain this vitamin E acetate. Now, what actually goes on in your lungs? So I'm gonna show you some images from lung biopsies, from chest x-rays. These were um, things that were kind of distributed amongst medical journals and the media um, by people who really wanted to get out the word about this illness. All right. Okay, now this is a lung biopsy. So lung tissue under the microscope. And these are the most tiny, tiny little areas of your lungs called alveoli. And all of the white part is space and the tissue is just this tiny little kind of strips of pink here. And what happens is that these are um, kind of blood vessels in tissue and the air, the oxygen gets absorbed right into these blood vessels um, in this area. And so this is where all of your oxygen gets absorbed on the most like teeny tiny level. This is what that same area looks like in somebody who has this lung injury, right? So there's all these little dots and pink. Those are all cells, inflammatory cells that have come and they've completely taken over all of that kind of nice open white space. There's just a teeny tiny bit left where your body can absorb oxygen. So look at, I mean, you really have no space where oxygen is getting and able to be absorbed. And this is why people are really short of breath is because they can't get any air inside of their body. Sorry about the poor quality on this, but this is a normal chest x-ray, right? Here is this spine. This is this long line here. Here are your ribs. This is your rib cage. This shadow is your heart. And then this is your diaphragm and all of your abdominal contents are kind of below here. So as you can tell, there are a little bit of these kind of white marks and those are blood vessels and um, kind of the branches of um, the lungs. Um, but mostly you kind of see this dark area, which is nice, clear lung tissue that is filled with air. And then there's this. Uh, okay, so this is the x-ray of somebody who has this e-cigarette vaping associated lung injury, right? And if you remember, there were these big kind of clear areas of dark that were the normal lung tissue, and now they're completely like white and fluffy. They used to kind of come down to a peak right here because that's the normal shape of your lungs, but this is completely whited out, completely whited out on this side. You can't even really see where the heart begins and ends because of all the junk that's going on in the lungs. All that stuff's inflammation, fluid, and other really bad things that cause you to have a really, really hard time breathing. Again, that's what normal looks like. So what can you do to keep yourself safe? First of all, kids under 18 and pregnant women should not use any e-cigarette or vaping products at all. And this is a pretty trusted guideline from the Centers for Disease Control. Two, please don't vape any THC products. There was somebody in Oregon who legally bought a THC vaping product and they were one of the people who died. So it's not just illegal, it's legal THC products as well. Three, please do not purchase e-cigarette or vaping products from the trunk of some random dude's car, right? Yeah, how about uh, weird things being sold on eBay? A lot of them were made in some random person's basement. I wouldn't wanna breathe that into my body, would you? How do you know what the heck is in it? So 
Don't buy black market things. Yes, this means stuff that some person randomly made, stuff that's randomly being sold in not an authorized store, stuff that is being sold on the internet. There's no regulation of any of that stuff. So don't buy it and don't smoke it. Four, please do not alter your e-cigarettes or vape pens and try to put random stuff in there and smoke it. Be Why? Because the majority of things that are safe to eat are not safe to be smoked. So don't put random weird stuff in there and smoke it. Thank you. All right. And finally, adults who have used cigarettes in the past and now use e-cigarettes should not go back to smoking cigarettes. This is a recommendation by the CDC. If they're going to continue using e-cigarettes, they should purchase them from a legal authorized vendor. Finally, if you're thinking about quitting, now is the time. There is absolutely no shame in coming into your medical provider and wanting to get help. We have medications and other tools that can really help people stop using nicotine altogether. All right, well, now you know more about eVolley the e-cigarette and vaping associated lung injury. It's super scary. Make sure to spread the word about it and follow the recommendations. If you liked this, hit a like and subscribe down below and I'll see you at my next video. Bye.